to another installment of AA Computers and Technology, and today I'm going to try to kill two birds with one stone, and by that I mean I'm going to try to get this video published, while at the same time upgrading our web server to this Core 2 Duo machine. So I'm going to take the Gateway A32 GM that I have sitting in the back that is currently running the website, I'm going to pull the hard drive out, and hopefully, crossing my fingers, hopefully it will just be plug and play with this machine because I don't think we're using any specific drivers with that computer. The graphics drivers aren't installed. We're just using the generic uh, Windows drivers. So hopefully when we plop it in this PC, we should have no problem. Uh, but we will see. So I'm going to walk you around both computers. But if you're really interested in the old web server, I have a video all about it. So you can go ahead and check that out in the description. So I'm going to pull the web server out, bring it up here, and we can go ahead and get started. I'm also kind of interested to see if we get any noticeable performance increase from this upgrade. I don't think we will because my network is a huge bottleneck. I mean, my ISP is just complete garbage. Uh, but we're going to check out the before and after footage to see if it made any sort of difference at all. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate to my website, www.aacomputersandtechnology.com. And I'm just going to navigate through a couple of the pages. Let's try the free 3D YouTube intro. So you can see it's taking uh, quite a bit of time to load all these images right here. And I think these are pretty small images. Uh, they're probably like maybe 50 kilobyte uh, JPEGs. I can't remember exactly what they are, but they're, they're around that size. Uh, I'm going to go back to the home page. We'll navigate through another one. Now what we want, let's just load this with a lot of images and text. Um, so you see, I mean, it's it's not bad, uh, but you can still, you know, see all the pictures loading and everything. And I want to see if that disappears when we upgrade the web server to the Core 2 Duo machine. As you can see, I have both of the systems out in front of me right now. This is the old web server with the Pentium 4 and 1 gigabyte of TDR4 RAM installed. Uh, the Western Digital 320 gigabyte Caviar Blue hard drive is the hard drive that we are going to transfer over to this Core 2 Duo system. This system is equipped with, as I just said, a Core 2 Duo running at something. We'll check it out in the BIOS. Um, and once again, if you want to see some detailed system specifications on both of these PCs, I have individual videos for each of these. So I'll put both of those links in the description so you can check that out. Um, and in those videos, I take a in-depth look at both of these computers. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, go ahead and check out those links in the description. There's also a 80 gigabyte Seagate hard drive. Ah, come on. 80 gigabyte Seagate Barracuda hard drive right here. Uh, I'm going to pull this out. I'll probably use this for like data storage for all the YouTube videos or something like that. Um, and really, I think I covered everything. I am ready to transfer over that hard drive. And once again, crossing my fingers, that's just going to be plug and play. And of course, I have the uh, Panda, ah, what is this? The uh, Panda wireless uh, USB Wi-Fi dongle for our wireless connectivity. This is how you guys are reaching my website. And then the Logitech uh, USB dongle for the keyboard. So let's go ahead and transfer that drive over. Ah, over. All right, so I took out the uh, 80 gigabyte Barracuda hard drive, and I just realized that the um, the Western Digital Caviar Blue hard drive is about half an inch thicker than this drive. Um, so hopefully it fits into that system. Now I didn't observe this before, but the drive mounting system for this is actually pretty neat. As you can see, these screws have vibration dampening built into them. And then when you want to install the actual drive, you just slide it in. So this one goes in here, and once again, crossing my fingers, um, that... <laughs> Alright, maybe not as easy as I thought. It looked easy when I pulled it out. There we go. And once again, I hope this drive actually fits in here. And then I pull this lever down, push the drive in, and then it should drop in. Ah, it fits, yes. And it probably would have been a good idea to connect it before I threw it into the system. Um, <laughs> I wasn't really thinking about that, but I'll just do that now. It should be the same orientation as the last drive. There we go. So our SATA hard drive is now installed in this dual, uh, not dual, this Core 2 Duo system. Now um, this is the HP Compact something, something, something model number. I cannot recall off the top of my head, and the drive is now installed. So we can go ahead and plug this into a monitor and hopefully it will boot into the Windows installation that is already on this hard drive. 
And then I also have to plug in our wireless dongle. Let me make sure the power supply goes down all the way here. So wireless dongle right here goes into the back USB 2.0 port. And then our dongle for the keyboard will go in the front so I can take it out if I need to use the keyboard for a different system. And then I'm gonna throw the top back on. I really love how easy the system is to service. It's gonna make a very, 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 ah, backwards. <laughs> very good web server. And, well, I spoke too soon because now I can put the top on. There we go. Pull it forward, all the way. Not quite on there. A little bit awkward. And there we go. And both tabs have popped through. Take this back into the server room, hook it up, and get it going now. The lighting in here is pretty bad and I had to take the camera off the tripod because there is absolutely no room in this little closet that I keep my web server in. But this is the monitor that we are going to be using. Let me move all the stuff back. As you can see, it really is in my closet. I just keep my web server all the way in the back here. And I have it all hooked up and ready to go. And I know in one of my last videos, I said I was going to put a RAID card in it in like two one terabyte hard drives. But right now, I just really don't have the funding to do so. So I'm like, all right. You know, I can just go ahead, um, upgrade it now, throw the hard drive in this computer now, and then in the future, I will have a upgrade video. And that's going to be pretty neat um, to put two terabyte hard drives in a RAID configuration and add another three gigs of RAM into the system. And now is the moment of truth. Let's go ahead and power on the system. Hopefully it boots into that installation of Windows without any problems. All right, computer is powering on now. Oh, it's the DC7800P. Okay, there's the model number, finally. <laughs> all right, and it is just testing all of our RAM now. You see, we are rocking one gig of RAM. All right. Oh, your system configuration has changed. Yes, it has, good, you recognize that. Now I have to turn the keyboard on and use it with one hand. All right, the following were automatically updated. Everything looks good. I'm going to go ahead and save those changes. So F1. Oh no, it's not going to detect the USB keyboard. Ah, I had to go grab a PS2 keyboard out um, from all the way up there and hook it up to this PC. Oh man. PS2 keyboard is attached. Let's try this again. And I think I promised you guys earlier that I would go into the BIOS and show you all the system specs. I think I will do that right now. So F10 is set up. And once we finish testing out all of that RAM, it will go into the setup, hopefully. And the PS2 keyboard is working. So that's good. All right. And... Oh, okay. Maybe after I hit F1, it will go into the BIOS. All right, F10. English system information. There we go. And you can see all of that good old system information. So we have our Intel Core 2 Duo running at 2.33 gigahertz. Um, as I said earlier, we have one gigabyte of RAM. We have four kilobytes of cache on board the CPU. Uh, what else is there? I mean, I think that's really about it. Everything else you can read yourself. Let's go ahead and exit out of here. And I am really anxious to see if Windows is going to work. So escape. Uh, escape again. Ignore changes and exit because we didn't make any. And let's see if this boots into Windows. Unfortunately, it would not boot right off the bat. So I'm going to go through the startup repair and see if I can't get this Windows installation to work with this PC. All right, so I'm still having some issues with this. When I boot into safe mode, watch what happens because it won't boot into the standard startup. So I'm gonna try to do it with safe mode. And it stops at this service called AGP440. And I think that's for the uh, video driver chipset for this board. So I need to find some way to override um, that particular service. So I think I'm gonna go into the command console and hopefully I can uh, overwrite that and just skip it and boot. Um, so we're gonna see what happens with that. 
I also thought using a video card might solve the problem, but unfortunately I still got the same AGP440 error. So I'm going to insert the Windows 7 installation disk that I have, go into, recover my, uh, go into recovery mode and see if I can disable that. Okay, at this point, I am incredibly frustrated. So as you can see, I got the Pentium 4 web server back up and running because I don't want to leave the website down for too long. I cannot get this installation of Windows 7 to boot on the Core 2 Duo system over here. So what I am going to do is grab a drive that I have laying around. I think I have a uh, 270 gigabyte Barracuda Seagate drive laying around somewhere in the closet. Um, so I'm going to pull that out and I'm going to completely reinstall Windows and set everything up from scratch, which is going to take forever. Um, I think last time I set up the web, for, uh, web server, it took about 10 hours. And I'm hoping that since I kind of know what I'm doing this time, I don't really remember uh, too much about it. I think it'll all come back to me once I get started. But I'm hoping it'll only take maybe one uh, to two hours. But God, who knows? At this point, you know, this 30 minute little project has turned into an absolute nightmare. So I will keep you guys updated on this. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and completely reinstall Windows. Ha! I found it! Finally! Had to go through everything in the closet and find the right box because I don't have any of these boxes labeled so it's an absolute pain when I need to find anything but let me go ahead and get this in focus I'm trying to use the camera with one hand which isn't working out very well but as you can see this is a um, Seagate Barracuda drive uh, 250 gigabyte capacity rotating at 7200 rpm and god knows how many hours have been put onto this drive I just hope it lasts long enough to replace it with the um, one terabyte drives that I plan on buying later on. And check out what I just found. I was digging through the back and I found two gigabytes of DDR2 RAM just laying around. So that's one of the upgrades already out of the way. So once I put these in, we will be rocking a total of three gigabytes of DDR2 RAM in this system, which I think is going to be all I am going to need for quite a while. Next, we just need a cheap RAID card and then those two hard drives. Okay, so the last three hours have been pretty sweet. I mean, I just completely reinstalled Windows, set up Apache, set up WAMP, set up DYN DNS updater, and got everything back up and running in under three hours on a fresh install. So I'm feeling pretty good right now, but that's, oh, as you can see, I'm, I'm losing it. But at the same time, I am exhausted. It's uh, currently reaching midnight right now, so I think... I'm going to finish the rest of this video tomorrow because I don't want to be up till like 2 o'clock in the morning. But as you can see, everything is back up and running. And yes, the website is running off this Core 2 Duo machine. Oh my goodness. I finally did it. Oh, you have no idea how frustrated slash happy slash exhausted I am right now. I'm going to bed, guys. I'm going to finish the rest of this tomorrow. Okay, so it is the next day, and as you can see, I went ahead and threw the server into the closet, reorganized everything, and now everything is up and running and ready to go. And I left this running all night, and I did run into one problem. I forgot to turn Windows Update off, so um, the server went down at one point, and I had no idea what was going on. I turned the monitor on to find out that it was going through like a million updates, so uh, now I turned that off because I don't want the server just randomly going down. Um, so that's good, and I went ahead just for fun. I ran the uh, Windows Experience Index, and it scored a 3.3 with the graphics holding it back. I'm surprised how um, high the processor score though. We got a 5.6 with this Core 2 Duo. Um, hard drive scored a 5.9. RAM scored a 5.9. So I mean, not bad. Um, and you can see that I have WAMP. Uh, let me go and close out of this. And I know you guys probably can't see this too well because one. I don't have autofocus on this, so um, I'm trying to get the focus just right here. And two, I don't have a tripod, so we're going to be wobbling everywhere. But last night, I actually did install the uh, the graphics drivers, which I didn't expect it to do, but that's nice. And I have a WAMP server running up here, and then I have the DYNS updater 
running too so everything has been working fine let's go ahead and move over to my desktop to see if there was any performance increase once again i doubt there was but let's just check for the fun of it my website is up on the internet browser right now and as i said earlier i don't expect there to be performance increase because the network that i have here is really holding it back um pretty mediocre network but I'll go ahead and start browsing through some of the pages. Actually, I'm going to go home first and go to the free U uh, 3D YouTube intros. And you can see that that actually uh, loaded up pretty fast. That might have already been cached in my, um, my browser. So let me go to a page that I haven't been to before. Experiments with Windows. Okay, so that took a bit longer, but there's not really any uh, large images on here. So I want to get something that has a lot of large images. And we're going to find that in the archives section. And preferably one that I haven't opened yet. Um, actually, let's go ahead and open the page on that uh, the server that we're using. It's the HP DC 7800P. Oh, look, the model number's right here for me. Yay. <laughs> Don't have to memorize it. And as you can see, really, it's about the same. That mediocre, ah, mediocre network is holding us back. So thanks for watching, guys. That was a very, very hectic night last night. But thank goodness I got the web server up and running back there. And everything is good to go. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can go ahead and post a comment in the comment section. Please do not forget to like this video. I'm not really sure if that bot attack is still going on or not. Um, I can't really be too sure at this point, but I think it might have stopped. And... Uh, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next installment of AA Computers and Technology.